Hello, my name is Boone Pickens. I am honored that you're taking a few minutes to watch this video. I'm using this video to communicate with you because I believe that you and I and the company that binds us, Coito Manufacturing, are at a very important crossroad. We care about Coito's future because we are shareholders in the company. Boone Co. owns 26% of Coito, and as a stockholder, I've discovered something very disturbing. The leadership of Coito is deliberately keeping us out of the global marketplace and holding back financial returns to the stockholders. And I don't think Coito is an isolated case. There are powerful forces at work that are trying to prevent us from realizing the full potential of our investments in Coito. More importantly, these forces are attempting to maintain a hold on Japan's economy that results in the average Japanese consumer paying much more for the products than we pay in the United States. Why, for example, can I buy a Toyota for $15,000 while that same car costs you $22,000 in Japan? Why does Kawito sell our headlights mostly to Toyota and not to all those who want to buy our headlights? Why are so many consumer products more expensive in Japan than in the rest of the world? And why do the working men and women of Japan struggle while the business elite enjoy unusual perks? Why does Kawito allow Toyota to use the Koritsu system to maximize profits and its share of the U.S. marketplace? And finally, why is Kawito forced to sell products to Toyota at an inferior price? In a minute, I'll tell you what we can do to correct this injustice. First, since I'm asking for your support and trust, I think you should know something about me. One of the strong attitudes in American culture is that everyone, regardless of background, should have the opportunity to go as far as their abilities will take them. It's called the American dream. That dream was instilled in me at a young age. I'm an example of that dream. I was born in the state of Oklahoma and moved to Texas as a teenager. I wasn't born to wealth and did not inherit it. Hard work and good management style enabled me to build my own successful oil business. Today, I'm the CEO of Mesa Limited Partnership, one of the largest independent producers of oil and natural gas in the United States. My interest in opening new markets and helping my company to grow puts me in contact with presidents and corporate leaders. I have always believed that no matter how good the mind is, a person is not whole without a healthy body as well. That's why Mesa built a fitness facility that offers employees a variety of activities. All employees from the top down are encouraged to use it. I also believe that responsible business leaders should take an interest in their community and their country. Mesa is involved in numerous projects to help better people's lives. One of the most rewarding experiences occurred just recently when I, along with others in the community, helped to save a magnet school in the city of Amarillo, Texas. A magnet school is usually located in a poor part of town and it attracts children from outside the area because of special courses that are offered. In this case, the focus was on computers. The highlight of our efforts was when comedian Bill Cosby agreed to do a benefit to raise money for this school. Along with my business activities, the one area of my life that is special is my family. My wife, B is a true partner and companion. Her advice, support, and encouragement have made me a better businessman and a better person. Our eight children are grown and have lives of their own. We visit with them often, and I really enjoy spending a quiet afternoon fishing with our grandchildren. All of us have a desire to leave our children with a quality of life just a little bit better than the way we found it. In my study of Japan and my brief travel in your country, I have found people are becoming more focused on their quality of life. And that is what concerns me about the situation at Kuwito. If something is not done to break up the practice of Kuritsu, things will never change. Your children will not find opportunities to better their lives. Eventually, since the marketplace is becoming increasingly global and competitive, they may even fall behind. I believe that Boonco's proposals for Kuwito's annual meeting are on the leading edge of change for corporate Japan. They reflect a fresh attitude and approach for Japanese business, an attitude that welcomes global cooperation 
and distances Kawito from the Kuritsu system of yesteryear. My first proposal is to renew my request for four seats on Kawito's board of directors. I'm doing this because I own 26% of Kawito and I believe that I will be a positive influence who can help the company grow both in the United States and around the world. Second, Kawito must not repurchase shares from one stockholder to the disadvantage of another. This proposal would prohibit Kawito officials from buying the shares of a stockholder unless that same offer is made to all Kawito stockholders. I have said repeatedly that Boonco has no interest in green mail, that we are interested in the long-term growth and profitability of Kawito. To put aside all of Kawito's allegations about green mail, we have made this proposal. Third, Kawito would be required to state in its annual report to stockholders whether it has engaged or has been forced by others to engage in any anti-competitive activities prohibited by the Japan Fair Trade Commission. Those of us who are stockholders have a right to know if our profits are being squeezed by Toyota or any other company. Fourth, I want an overall management accountability improved by allowing stockholders to vote each year on the salary and retirement benefits of each Kawito board member, not the entire board as a whole. Fifth, Kawito will publish each year the policies and criteria used to price its products. Under the Kuritsu system that now exists, Kawito is forced to sell to Toyota at an artificially low price, thus returning smaller dividends to Kawito shareholders. Sixth, Kawito shareholders should immediately begin receiving a fair return on their investment, eliminating the hidden dividend to Toyota and other Kuritsu members would increase the company's dividend to stockholders. My seventh and final proposal would remove the cloak of secrecy surrounding Kuito's Sto Fumikin Fund. Right now, we don't know how much is in this fund or exactly how it is being used. Fairness and good business practice dictate that shareholders be told the details of this fund to avoid illegal and unethical activities. There is a saying in my country that there is strength in numbers. I am asking that if you support my efforts, please vote your shares in favor of these proposals. If I walk into that annual meeting next month with more than 50% of the shareholders' votes, then we will make history. I am a businessman just like you. I have made the investment in Coito expecting to participate in Coito's success and to earn a fair return. You and I have an opportunity to do more. We have the opportunity to be a part of a setting a new standard for Japanese business. By doing so, we're doing our part to leave our children and grandchildren a better world in which to live. I will be coming to Japan next month to attend the annual meeting, and I hope to see you then. If you have questions or you would like to discuss this further, please call our representative in Japan at 03-233-1181. Thank you for your time.